well within uh, teaching the nuts and bolts of writing we need to uh, develop the art and practice of teaching well formed writing well formed sentences meaningful sentences and one of the ways of doing it at elementary level or at the middle level or even at the um, intermediate level is is called parallel writing what parallel writing means that students are shown a model and they are asked to write um sentence based on the information or based on the mechanics they have noticed in that kind of sentence right so um of course this this kind of activity is used to develop grammar reinforcement but we can make students write similar sentences based on information they gather or they think of or they can also uh, create sentences on their own uh, based on information so we can see an example on this slide for example if you look at this example on this slide there is uh, one character carlos and we have got a list of his likes and dislikes and the teacher can read the sentences uh, which carlos likes and the points which he dislikes and these are like the likes are ticked and uh, dislikes are crossed right whether carlos likes music hip hop or football classical music tennis films clubs spicy foods so if you look carefully at this slide we have got sentences written well formed sentences written with the use of and and but right he likes hip hop but he doesn't like classical music another example is he likes football and tennis he likes watching films and going out to clubs another example is he likes spicy food but he doesn't like raw fish so we can now ask our students to write similar sentences based on another character some of their own likes some of their own dislikes so at intermediate level if you look at the example shown on the next slide that invites students to look at how pronouns are used in a text and then get them to write pairs of sentences in which they use pronouns uh, in the same way based on information they are given so look at this example carefully on this slide and see what pronouns are used and for example let me read it aloud for you on the 2nd of january 2003 andrew kuni became the youngest person ever to walk to the south pole he is 23 years old scout leader he telephoned his parents in britain at 7:59 pm to say that he had completed the journey it took two months we were delighted said his father terry we are proud of him his mother marilyn said that she was looking forward to him coming home mr kuni relied on his parents at home they were no you can show this kind of example to your students and make them notice where the pronouns are used where he is used where we is used and how it's been used where they is used and how it's been used where i is used and how it's been used so this is how we can you know give some diet to the students some food to the students to build up sentences to uh, write sentences which are well formed meaningful and coherent